Thanks to Sailor Guns Veteran for suggesting this video. Also, I'm having so much fun making these videos, and it seems like you guys are really enjoying them as well. I appreciate all the love. I really do. It means a lot. So, if you haven't already, and you deem me worthy, subscribe to the channel. No pressure, of course, but I have a whole lot planned for the future, and it's gonna be a fun ride. Anyway, sorry for the dumb intro. Let's get to the video. In Valheim, shields are optional, but they can be extremely helpful if, like me, you don't like dying all the time. I find them to be especially helpful in dungeons like burial chambers, sunken crypts, and infested mines. Places where you're likely to have a bunch of enemies vying for your blood all at once. But they can also be very nice for dealing with strong enemies like one and two star enemies. Taking out and blocking with just your primary weapon is usually just fine for regular mobs. But once you stumble on those star baddies, things can get dicey. You're likely to get staggered, die a horrible death, and have to embark on a naked rescue mission to recover your gear. Something I've absolutely never had to do myself. <laughs> because shields. Shields are designed to help you negate a massive amount of damage, and depending on the style of shield, they come with extra bonuses. According to the Valheim Wiki, there are three primary types of shields. Bucklers, round, and tower shields. Bucklers are small and maneuverable. They don't block a whole lot of damage comparatively, but it's pretty much always a whole lot more than nothing. They do, however, allow players with quick reflexes to capitalize on a 25 times parry bonus, letting you hit your enemies much harder for a short period of time while they're staggered after a successful parry. Round shields negate more damage compared to bucklers, but usually not by too much. However, they only have a 1.5 times parry bonus. Not nothing at all, but still very nice. Maybe not the best, but they're a good all-around balance for shield options. Tower shields negate the most amount of damage, and they can push mobs back with a high knockback bonus, which can help you clear the space in front of you so you can breathe a bit before you continue on your killing way. It's a trade-off though, because tower shields don't benefit from any parry bonuses, so your slashing or stabbing will only cause normal damage. Tower shields are huge and clunky, making you extra slow when you're holding them. So if you need to run away from a bunch of mobs, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, bucklers and round shields both have a movement penalty of 5%, which is almost negligible. But all tower shields make you 20% slower, minus the serpent scale shield, which is only at 15%. Let's take a quick side-by-side -side look at a tower shield versus a round shield. Pretty crazy difference. So now that we're done detailing the benefits of certain types of shields, let's test some in the arena. There will be five stages for this demonstration, representing the five primary biomes in Valheim. In each stage, we'll test each shield type, and I'll basically just voice my thoughts while using them with some live commentary against the biome's respective enemies. From the Black Forest, we'll fight some skeletons, from the swamp, we'll fight some Draugr. From the mountains, we'll fight wolves, sadly. From the plains, we'll fight some fuelings. And from the mistlands, we'll of course fight some seekers. I already know that my favorite shield is the round shield for its balance and the looks, but let's see if I can maybe open my eyes to the benefits of other shield types and maybe come to some interesting conclusions along the way. I will, by the way, be using each biome's respective gear for these fights, and all will be at level 2. Let's do this. Okay, we are here and we're gonna test some shields. Let's start round number one. Oh yeah. We're gonna test the bronze buckler first against some skeletons. Level two skeleton, here we go. And we can parry it just fine. Oh yeah. All right, let's do that again. I've never actually seen a level two skeleton before. This is fun. This one's, a, this one's an archer. Oh, I missed that, but... Hey, we're good. We staggered it. Let's just buckle this bitch. Nope. All right. Let's get a better one. Sword one. All right. Easy day. So yeah, just time it right and your buckler will do just fine. Let's get some more enemies in here. Skeleton. Let's do three at level two. Oh boy. Get my stuff out. Oh, they buckled it. Oh, well, that was easy. All right. Block. Stagger, pretty easy. There we go. Buckle! You're done. Yeah, I mean, not the best test because I have higher skill levels than these things are used to. But it's still fun, right? Buckler looks pretty cool. Skeletons. Let's do 10 skeletons with the buckler. 
and we'll do them all at level one. Oh boy! Oh. Okay, so not a whole lot you can do to really parry this. You kind of just need to fend them off. Let's just thin the herd a little bit. I got one parry in there, but I'm not really trying to parry with the buckler because I have so many enemies. It's really just of, of you know, fending them off. Got that parry there. Hey, all right, you're done. Okay, pretty effortless. Let's go ahead and switch to a different shield. Let's grab the round shield next. This isn't going to be that different, but it will help quite a bit. In this right here, the 10 skeletons, it'll it'll negate more damage. So if you're fending off a horde like this, it'll be a whole lot better. Did I? I put the sword up here like an idiot. All right, fine. <laughs> uh, let's take care of these. Hey, get out of here. So yeah, this is not the best when it comes to big crowds, but it will be just fine. All right, but let's get a two star in here. Yep, got the parry. It's it's effortless. Let's get two two stars. Oh, I got staggered. Oh, I got staggered again. I guess I need to eat, don't I? Take you out and Oh, I missed. There it is. It's actually hitting me quite a bit harder than it was with the buckler. So let's just put that back there. We'll put that back there. And yeah, let's try a tower shield. I'm going to skip the wooden one and we're gonna go straight to the bone one, which is pretty much the equivalent option. We'll do two, two stars. See, this is gonna push them back, but since they are starred enemies, probably not gonna push them back nearly as much as it could. And you don't need to time parries with these. I don't need to hit it like right here to push them back farther. It's not going to do that. It's just, it's just going to, you know, you always hold it up and it'll be fine. 10 skeletons coming up. Oh boy. If I just hold the block, this is what tower shields are designed for. This will just push them back. It won't really hurt me. Yeah, it's taking my stamina down and I'm having difficulty gaining it back. So let's just kind of run away a little bit. Let's gain some stamina back so I can start attacking. Fortunately, I'm doing all of the <laughs> all the good foods, so I'm not going to probably not going to die. All right, let's fight a little bit. Push some people back. Thin the herd a little. You see every hit I take does take quite a bit of stamina. I really don't know which one takes the most stamina. I'm not sure if there's a metric for that. There probably is. We're not gonna go that deep, but look. Blocked it, and you're toast. All right, time for round two. Let's go ahead and grab the appropriate gear, and we will grab the buckler to start. We're in the Iron Age now, and let's go ahead and put our stuff on. Yeah, man, I think the, I think the iron armor just looks the best, and that sword, it's just gorgeous. But time for the buckler. Yeah, that's just, I think the Iron Age just looks awesome. Let's go ahead and start fighting some Draugr. Level two Draugr. Oh, okay, all right. It's uh, it's an archer. And it hit me. All right, let's get a regular, there we go. All right, let's buckle this guy. Hey, we got the parry. No problem whatsoever. Let's go ahead and do it again. There's another one. Oh, I missed. All right, bad timing. Let's do it again. There it is, right before it hits. No problem. Hey, buddies. Holding the shield up, and it's not really gonna do much, but it's a buckler. It's designed to parry like that. Yep, parry. No problem. Let's not do 10 of them, but we'll do seven. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh, I got the parry there. But yeah, if you have a whole lot of enemies like that, bucklers just aren't the way to go because they don't negate the most amount of damage. We need to thin the herd. Parry. You're done. Parry. You missed. Got them both there. And a couple swipes. One swipe, we're done. Okay, that's enough of bucklers. There's that. Let's go to my favorite shield in the game. This just looks the best. I think this looks like the most Viking shield out there. Parry. You're not going to hit as hard because it's only 1.5 times damage for the parry bonus, but it's still going to be great. Boom and boom. 
seven Draugr <laughs> right into it. If I hold the shield up more, I don't know, I guess you'll probably see the parry or the, the blocking bar go up less because this does negate more damage. But it's still not going to be as good as the tower shield, which will thin the enemies nicely by pushing them back. But that's where tower shields benefit. That's where they shine. So you got the parry there. I got the parry there, and I don't have any stamina. Here we go. Boom. Move. And we're going to parry this guy. Parry. You're done. Toast. Okay, let's put this guy back, and we will grab the tower shield. Oh, yeah. See, iron tower shield looks awesome. Let's do a single two-star, one-star Draugr. And... No point in timing parries because there's no parry bonus, but if you just hold it up, it'll it'll have the same effect. Boom, yep. Probably not gonna push back a one star too well, but if we break out, let's just say one regular Draugr, not that kind of Draugr, come on. All right, we're just holding the shield up and it's, you know, it's pushing me back, I don't know, I don't know why. And okay, so it does push it back as well, if you move forward. All right, so I guess maybe it doesn't push Draugr back as well as other enemies. It's gonna be pretty effective. Seven Draugr, hold the shield up. Okay, yeah, I guess it does push him back. Yeah, this is definitely the shield that you want if you are fighting multiple enemies like this. It's just, it's just gonna keep you safe. And yeah, if you need to turn around and run away, you're not gonna be able to very well because you're slow as hell. All right, last one. Push back just a little bit. Slice and dice. Let's go ahead and move on to the next stage. All right, back to silver armor now. Look at that, looks pretty good. Let's grab the silver shield. There really is only one silver shield and it is a round shield. By the way, I forgot to change these to level two. So they're all level one. Uh, oops, oh well, it doesn't matter. Just look at how good this thing looks. I just think this is also a really good realistic shield. And since it's a round, we only have one round for this. Let's go ahead and spawn some wolves. We'll spawn one two-star wolf. Let's do this. Easy to parry. Three swipes, you're done. Okay, let's do two of these guys. This is going to be a lot tougher, but I pretty much got this. And of course that one's... Oh, okay, they hit hard. No problem. All right, we're gonna do three regular wolves and we'll just hold this shield up there. And hey, hey, hello. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not a, it's a round shield. It's balanced, it's good enough for anything, really. Sorry, oh, I really don't like fighting wolves. They're just, they're, the, they're friends. I think we're done with that one. There really isn't a whole lot to talk about with these shields. We might as well do the Serpent Scale shield because it's kind of in this tier. We'll go ahead and roll with it. Look at that, looks pretty good. This is the Serpent Scale shield, which is a tower shield, but you move a little faster, which, hey, I can barely notice it, but it is something. You'll see it's pushing them back quite nicely. Actually, yeah, quite nicely. Yeah, okay, all right, I do like that. So if you are fighting a whole bunch of wolves, a tower shield like the Serpent Scale might be kind of OP. No point in timing, that was just instinct. Let's go ahead and put this thing back where it came from, or so help me. And then, yeah, let's switch to the next round. The Padded Armor and Black Metal Sword. Since we don't have a buckler for this stage as well, we're gonna start with the round shield, which is definitely, I think, the best choice for most situations. And in my opinion, I think the black metal shields are where it starts to get a little bit less realistic. I mean, save the whole bone tower shield, which I mean, I mean there may have been something like that historically, but this, this is where, I don't know, it starts to feel a little less realistic to me. Not necessarily a bad thing, it's just a personal thing. Let's go ahead and spawn not wolves, but some goblins. Easy to parry, pushes them back a little bit. Couple swipes, three of them. And these guys, these guys really hit hard. But I've got a shield, and while you can see the bar filling up quite quickly, it's still, it's still doing a good, good amount of work. Hey, what are you doing? Get back here. Come on, come on, come on. I'm just gonna hold it up. 
Yeah, okay, you saw it hit. It blocked quite a bit of damage. Now I'm going to parry and slash. Okay, let's do a Berserker. How do you spawn a Berserker? Goblin King? I probably don't want to do that, but let's try it out. I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, shit. Nope, I do not want to do that. <laughs> I did not want to do that. Okay, yeah. Uh, bad choice. <laughs> Oh, what did I expect? Of course that's what that was. Okay, we are back. Let's find out how to spawn a Berserker. It's actually pretty easy and pretty obvious. Spawn, Goblin, Brute. Hey, hello. No problem. They really aren't that big of a deal when you only have one of these guys. But let's do even, let's go even farther. Let's do one of them. A two star. Oh, nope, that's the one, not what I wanted. I wanted the opposite, but let's, hey, let's fuck it, why not? Ow. Bad, bad, danger. This is actually, this is actually a big deal. Troubles, problem, problem, very bad. Oh god, are you kidding me? All right, that's not good. Uh, let's get back here. <laughs> I gotta... Oh no, they're destroying everything. No, stop. Oh my god, this is dumb. I killed him. I pushed K to kill. Ah, oh, come on. Come on! Okay, it's actually not as bad as I expected. Well, the arena is still intact. <laughs> I know I cheated. I, I would have I would have really liked to do the the whole, you know, come back and kill them, but nope, not gonna happen. Uh let's just ignore that and return to the originally scheduled program. Okay, well I think I've got I got everything put back where it's supposed to be. Uh yeah, well I guess it wouldn't be a waffles video without a little bit of unexpected chaos, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to see if I can summon a one star. Heal myself real quick because, you know, fairness. Two, no, one and two. There it is. All right. No problem. Almost maxes me out, but it's no problem. Hey, I'm able to block it just fine. Three swipes. Oh, it staggered me that time. Wasn't fully ready again. Okay, yeah, it does max out that quite a bit. Ow. Oh no, again? All right, I was playing with it too much. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it's breaking everything again, no. All right, I'm back. What are you doing? Come on. Hey, can you not? Let's do this legit. What do you say? I think I can take it out just fine. It's on me. Oh boy. Eat some food. Ow. Oh, okay. I was able to block that, okay. Okay, we did it legitimately this time, but we did take some damage. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to the tower shield. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's just kill some fuelings. What do you say? I think that's a reasonable thing to do. These, oh yeah, it pushes them back a lot. Look at that. Look at how far they go. They just fly. Maybe it's proportional to the weight of the enemy. I don't know. But yeah, it's really pushing them back. So I tried this shield with these goblins with the fuelings, and I didn't really like it, but I don't think I gave it a fair shake. This is actually pushing them back a lot. This is a crowd control device. You're gonna push them back, and then maybe you can hit the guy that's on you like that, yeah? Let's go for a regular brute. Just one, just one regular one. There's no point in, you know, parrying because there's no parry bonus for these, but it'll block all of this just fine. And, you know, I'm not going to be able to stagger them, but I can block their attacks. Okay, that staggered him. All right, so yeah, if you're fighting one of these guys, I wouldn't recommend the tower shield. Let's move on to the final round. Carapace armor, mist walker, and let's start with the carapace buckler. This is pretty much what I'm used to at this point, so it's not going to be too much of a trouble. I'm going to do one Seeker level one. This shouldn't be a problem at all. Yep. Parried. Three swipes. Ooh, still hits hard. 
Gotta get the timing right. Come on, come on. There it is. You're done. Three regular Seekers. Mistwalker slows them nicely, which, you know, lets them kind of stay away from me for a, a longer period of time if I really need to do some crowd control. But the Buckler is designed to parry. Well, uh, let's do a stupid thing and let's jump into a single two-star Seeker. Hello. Hello. Hey, actually, wow, that didn't... That did really, really well. I thought it would actually max out my my, my bar, but no, that was perfectly fine. Um, yeah, Buckler is always designed to handle pretty much just one enemy at a time and to get a max parry bonus. But let's do that again, just right off the bat. Oh, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to equip it. All right, all right, all right, come on. Oh, it staggered me that time. Bad. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why sometimes it's fine, sometimes... Son of a biscuit with gravy, come on! <laughs> no! Don't, don't, please don't, please don't. I'm dying so much lately, I don't like it. Yeah, alright, alright, come on. Come on back. Hey, hey, can you not attack everything around you? Uh-oh, uh-oh, danger, 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 danger. Bad, bad, bad. Very bad. This is why these these uh, these little cinder blocks are a good idea. These are, you know, if you really need to, kite something around it. Alright, everything's fine. Oh, come on. Well, that was my fault. I need pants. I'm not wearing pants. I just... All right, here we go. You're done. Okay. Well, I mean, this shield seems really effective. It's good. <laughs> you know what? Let's put on some pants. It's probably a really good idea. All right, let's 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 finish this off by fighting, you know, three Seekers with this shield right here. I think this is what this shield is designed for. And even though it still has a parry bonus, you know, this is the most balanced shield option because it's a round shield. It's good. It's good for anything. All right, well, hey, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this video ended up a little bit longer, actually quite a bit longer than I expected, but I actually had a lot more fun making it than I expected. I really wasn't planning on fighting, I guess, really strong enemies. I just, you know, it was a little bit unscripted. It was a, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, let me know, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe if you feel like it. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.